they started looking at the objectives that I had to accomplish for this speech, it said to use descriptive words and words that added value. Then, I also remember the speech that Andy Newman gave that he said, if you speak from your heart, you will connect better with your audience. So with these two ideas in mind, I began thinking about all the different topics that I could talk to you about. However, there was one idea that kept piercing my mind, telling me, Carla, Carla, tell them about the opportunity. And so here I am tonight, Madam Toast, or Mr. Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. Just two weeks ago, I had an event that truly changed my thinking. It changed the way that I viewed life, and it really just got me on a whole different mentality. Let me start by beginning to tell you that my goal is to become a motivational speaker. And because of that, I thought to myself, I don't need to wait until I'm older to accomplish this goal, and I certainly don't need to wait until I'm rich enough to accomplish this goal. I said, I could do this free, and I can be an influencer. So I started a motivational blog called The Daily Chat, and as of right now, it has currently 3,340 followers. Wow, oh, yes. awesome. Oh. Wow. And that includes followers. One, I do have a Marlins player that follows me, which I was very shocked. I have an international motivational speaker that follows me, and my followers also include a variety of different locations from Hawaii all the way to Europe. See, this all started because I had an idea. I didn't want to wait for a moment in my life to occur so that I can take action. So why am I telling you this? And what was the day that changed my thinking? See, one of those individuals I told you was an international motivational speaker. And his name was Eric Thomas. And I'm getting so excited already to tell you the story. <laughs> so I am a huge fan of Eric Thomas. I follow him and I am just such an advocate of what he does, his videos, the way he speaks, he's so authentic. And luck would have it that one of my friends invited me to an event where Eric Thomas would be speaking. Now I couldn't believe it. I was like, are you sure it's Eric Thomas, the one that's following me? I couldn't believe it. And he says, yes, it's that Eric Thomas. And the reason I got so excited about this is because prior, this individual had liked and even commented on some of my videos that I had done on my motivational blog. And at first I was like, this can't be. It probably is his publicist writing, you know, making a connection with his audience and with him. But in my thought, I was like, if I get to meet him, you betcha, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him, is this you writing me? So the day of the event came and there were two, it was a two-day event. The first day, luckily, Eric Thomas would not speak, but he would begin doing uh, a book signing. So, of course, I got in line, I got my book, and impatiently, like a little girl waiting at Disney World to ride her first ride, I couldn't even contain the excitement. The person behind me was seriously worried. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, there he is! There he is! And I saw him just walk in, and you just felt a presence. I don't know if you guys ever feel a presence when someone walks in the room, but it was just a positive energy. And here was the person that I've been looking up to that has written back and given me feedback, and in, moments, in a few moments, I'm going to be able to meet him. So he began signing books, and I just waited patiently as the next person went, and I got one step closer, had my book, had my finger placed on the page he would sign, <laughs> one step closer, and I could feel my heart beating, <laughs> just out of my chest. And my cheeks hurt so bad, I tell you, because I couldn't have been smiling hard enough, kind of like <laughs> I am now. <laughs> I was so excited, I couldn't contain it. But that happens when you are inspired by an individual. You get excited about their presence. And so the moment came, I was about 20 people ahead of me, and it was gonna be my turn to finally meet him. And as I waited patiently in line, I saw an individual walk slowly towards my area. And it was a security guard, and really loudly he said, ladies and gentlemen, 
Eric Thomas will be leaving in five minutes. Oh, no. And the line will stop right behind me. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way, no way. Wow. It stopped right behind me. Wow. I was like, that's going to happen. I'm going to meet him. Needless to say, he stood up to shake the hands of the individuals that wouldn't get to meet him. And he shook hands, shook hands. And as he got closer, I, could, I thought my heart, you could see it. It was just beating so fast. And he came up to me and he paused. And he said, oh my gosh, it's the girl from the Daily Chat. Oh, and wow. Your luck would believe it. I started crying because I was like, you know, I couldn't believe it. And we had a conversation and we became friends. Later on, I was invited to go to lunch with him and really get to know him. But this never would have occurred if I didn't take the opportunity to start my Daily Chat. So I want to leave you with a little bit of encouragement. The next time someone tells you that you can't accomplish something, that you can't do it, or gives you a no, or even doubts you, let your motivation inspire you and catapult you forward. Because you have to be driven yourself to accomplish goals. In the beginning of my speech, I told you about the word opportunity. And opportunity is everywhere. But if you don't take the first step, you're never going to be able to embrace the opportunity that's out there for you. It's like that quote I once heard said, it's better to be prepared and have an opportunity lie ahead of you than an opportunity lie ahead of you and you not be prepared. So be driven and watch opportunities open up for you.